Now it is well known that the thing that the stock markets hate the most is uncertainty. Any ambiguity is an enemy to investors. That's probably why the markets have zoomed right through the end of polling season. In a short while from now, markets open for the first time after the most thunderingly stable electoral mandate in a quarter century. Shirley. Investors are absolutely smiling. They have every reason to be confident and hopeful. The expectations are sky high from the stock indices and retail investors. We'll be getting you a live report from Mumbai when the markets open in a little while. Before that, here's a report on the bull that's finally running rampage on the Lal Street. percent rise in Sensex since Modi was named PM nominee. 2,000 points gain in run-up to the polls. Scaling Mount 25K on the day the results were out. Rupee at an 11th month high. Clearly the markets are riding the Modi wave. But how long will the party continue? We are looking at stability. We are looking at uh, when any foreign party which we want to deal with or somebody wants to come into India, he says, okay, now we are looking at at least next four or five years of stable government. To that extent, there will be a lot of FDI which I expect will come in. Mm -hmm. And there can be a lot of possibilities of joint ventures, etc. An unexpected clear majority for the BJP has fueled expectations of long delayed reforms. However, experts warn that much of the expected gains are already factored in. The next trigger for the markets will be announcement of the cabinet and division of portfolios. Till then, the markets could see minor gains or a bit of consolidation. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.